play, if we're frustrated as a player, you're now in your own head because you're like, okay, what's going to happen? Are we so sure? So you pre- you're like, you're training, but you don't know if you should train. Are we going to get banned now? Like, like we could play all games and still not go through because they might take the points. Like now you don't even know. Mm-hmm. And so but, that, and that's that could mess you mentally. Right? And, and that's where I think like, that's what it does. It opens the door for it. Right. Like I'm, I'm skimming through her, I mean, not Herman Westhead's um, article. And it's like, they used it for the qualifiers for the world cup against Panama. And my response is like, and like, and this is where like, I'm like, but that game, we couldn't score. Now, granted, that game was windy. So there's, there's whole things with that. But, like, you're using it against Panama. Again, nothing against Panama. The canal is lovely. But you're using it against Panama. Like, like it's, it was the biggest joke yesterday, which was like, why are you using it on New Zealand? Why don't you go record France or, like, Colombia? Those would be the t- – we don't Those know how to cheat team. properly. That's what I'm saying. Those would be the actual teams that you would now want to know, okay, how far. And as a matter of fact, as I was looking at the game today, I'm like, but you didn't have to even do that because you could just watch the game today because the game played at a later date, later time. You could watch the game between New Zealand and, and Colombia. I mean, sorry, France and Colombia. So we're literally watching to see, okay, this is their formation. This one didn't. Like, I'm just saying that there's so many other ways, especially in this modern game, that I'm like, really? Or did we feel we're so cool that we had drones that we're like, oh, let's play with our toys? <laughs> but, but again, if we're using it against Panama, we're definitely using it against New Zealand. True. But why right? Panama? And- I, I, don't under, I don't even get it. You're one of the top in the region. You are you're, one of the you're top supposed 10 teams to be, in the world, and you're yes, you're supposed to be one of the top ten teams in the world. You have the player personnel. Are you overthinking that? Like, I'm, I'm gathering that you're probably overthinking. Like, okay, mind you, maybe you didn't have to see Panama play as much, and they're they're new, and, and women's the women's game is on the rise, so you might not have seen a lot of play. But you did take your game. That's what I'm. I'm so confused. Like. And, and, and that's where I keep on going back to. This is, has to have been going on for a while because there was no hesitation. There, there is no hesitation in saying if we're we're using it for New Zealand, a team that you have beaten twice on your celebration tour, a team that historically you're what ten three and four against all time. That that's what I was just about to say. Yeah, how many losses? I think it was two losses. Is it it's, two losses? It's remarkable, and like I, I think. If this goes as sideways as I think it'll go, like our entire women's, because this is like we talked about, I think this is FIFA's one chance to actually flex and say, we are an organization that is meant to be feared. Ah, we have a hammer and we can throw it around on a, on a national level for Canada. I mean, first of all, this is not what the NSL wanted for publicity going into their new year oh, next year. Oh, gosh. Like, and that's another is, thing. Like, Why? Everything. <laughs> someone just said, "I wonder what. I wonder what if, if what the Fern players realized they opened when they reported that drone." It's like, yeah, you 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 peeled off a lot that we didn't know. But if this goes as sideways as many people think it can go, like we don't have a women's program, like we don't have coaches for it specifically, is what I'm saying. It's not that we don't have a women's program because if Bev leaves, Emma Humphreys is gone for the U17s. Jasmine Mander, who was already sent home. Video director is the U15s coach. Lombardi is, is in charge of the NDCs and works with the NDCs. Like, it would require, and rightfully, jokingly, of course, we're talking about we need to revamp our youth system uh, for the men's. No, no, it was a foreshadow. Paula was a foreshadow. <laughs> we're, we're burning everything. <laughs> But like at this point, you everything is gone. The only person who be technically left is Sydney Ty. All right, is it Sydney Ty? It's Ty. I know that the last right, name is Ty. Right, yes. For I'm who's coaching U twenties? That's all we'd have left. It's it's remarkable. It is actually remarkable. And the problem is, we are now forever tainted. These are our period of the most success now has this over it. 
And that's unfortunate because both men's and women's, those players did not come here to be, no one wanted that. I feel for the players. I feel like at this point, make the women's national team play for delegate, a national delegation from Canada, not Canada, you know, kind of what they did for Russia and like, what was right. that? Yes. So, yeah, it was like athletes from Russia, but not the Russian IOC. I, I feel like at this point, Canada soccer will be like soccer players from Canada, but not the CSA because, y- you know, things. And and it's but, so unfortunate man, because they, they've dealt with so much last year, um, dealing with the old regime for Canada soccer. And mm-hmm. with Kevin Blue, I'm like, okay, finally – some level of normality here where the, the women can now just focus on playing the game mm-hmm. and then it's like boom we do this so now you set them back again right and then how how do others dual nationals like how do they look at this now too right because uh, if you're if you're consistently watching from the outside are you like Oh my gosh! Okay, there, there's always something crazy. Here. Why would I want to play for this mm-hmm. for this team when there's something always crazy happening every year? <clears throat> Literally every year. I don't want to go say every six months, but every year there's always something that comes up, and so you get cel- you celebrate something in Canada soccer, and you're like, okay, who I could ease off this heavy load and put it aside and nope <laughs> somebody comes and gives you a nice kick and say no put this load back on you got to take it and i'm actually adding more on to your onto the existing load that you have so it's just it's i don't even know like now as a player do you want to play no as a player i i don't i don't know if i would feel that motivated to play with this with this black cloud over my head i mean as a professional i know i have to play physically but i'm saying mentally like with this black cloud over my heart over the head of the organization like yeah but think about it of course Ben Priestman, like we we knew that she she knew about it I mean, if you want to use technical words and say, you know, because Jasmine Manor was like, she knew, what what was it she said? She said she knew about it, but she didn't tell him to do it or some, some kind of technicality. And I was just like, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to be technical because Bad Priest was going to say, well, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. What did you not know? <laughs> so... It's yeah. It's just I don't even know what to say, man. It it it's it's such a sad time, and I really, really, really feel for the players because now it's just another thing that they have to psychologically deal with, which they didn't have to. You know. I mean, it, it it's sad that I'm about to say this statement. It's terrible that they have so much practice playing with clouds over the program that is this a Tuesday for them or is this the breaking point? Because at this point, like it is it is unfair for them. But literally, tell me what I almost tweeted this, but then Kate beat me to It's like one day the women will play a game and there won't be clouds. Just we'll just have one time. Right. It won't be they aren't paying us. It won't be there's still a labor dispute. They still haven't signed a collective bargaining agreement. Like, we, we've well, forgotten still, about yeah, that. We, we had a good COPA run. We don't oh. have an agreement yet. <laughs> that is still a thing. Oh, yes, you're right. Right? And then, what? Enough is enough. Equality. We had, at this point, like, if we play a tournament with the women and there's nothing going on, I would be, I might just leak a story because I'm so used to it at this point. Like, there's always drama happening. But it's it's not fair to them. I do agree, Paul. Because they've had to do this for too many years. Right. Too many. How many? Too many. Too many than the ones that they've had done already. And so I don't know what this does for them. 
if they the problem with them now is they have this cloud over them and what are they supposed to say like we went to training we trained we prepared we prepped i don't know why now they have to question everything that's not fair could it go retroactively and then take away the medals again the ioc has doping um levels and they have cheating what does the drone do because i I say this comically and i'm gonna keep on saying this we have sucked at cheating paul do we get do we get less points taken off because we've sucked at cheating 